Can fascia release restore eyesight? That's the question that I'm posing today with you and I'm gonna share with you my theory. Hey, it's Alicia from mobilitymastery.com and I've been in private practice since 2008 working with people in pain using fascia release to get them out of pain. And I never set about to study eyesight or the effects of fascia release on eyesight in particular, and I never got anybody making an appointment with me to restore their eyesight. However, I noticed some patterns throughout the years working with various people when we would do upper body sessions, they would tell me, oh my God, I think I'm seeing better right now. My, my vision feels a little better or my eyes feel a little clearer or I'm seeing a little clearer than I was a minute ago. And there's one really specific fascial kind of line or uh, path through the body that uh, through researching why these clients were telling me what they were telling me, uh, it came to my attention that that is the primary pathway for blood to get to the ocular nerve. Um, and that is the scalene area right here. Um, but it led me to looking into this issue in a more holistic way than just this one thing. So I have really good eyesight, I always have. I, at the time of this recording, am 39 years old. I've never had glasses. I've never had to get contacts or anything like that. So I can't exactly speak about this from personal experience, but I can tell you what some of my clients have said uh, in addition to my working theory. And then I want to invite you to actually try some fascia release yourself if you are somebody who has maybe some eyesight issues. Now, when I said, can fascia release restore eyesight, I'm not talking about, can it restore eyesight for blindness? I think that's a maybe a completely different issue. And I also wanna say that there are probably a lot of factors that go into why our eyesight kind of goes with time and with age, right? It could be um, maybe more diet related uh, and nutrition related. It could be something else entirely like a medical issue, right? Because uh, eyesight has often been linked to kidney stuff and diabetes, for example. Um, but in maybe just the rest of cases, right? Non-medical cases, I do believe we can improve eyesight and I definitely think it's something worth exploring together. So if you're landing on this video and you wear glasses or you wear contacts or maybe you're thinking about getting them because you've noticed your eyesight starting to uh, you know, go a little bit, I invite you to try something out. Uh, the more fascia you, you release throughout your entire body, the better your chances of success here. Uh, but the primary areas that you're gonna focus on are gonna be your uh, chest and your entire neck region. So I can't walk you through that entire sequence today. It would take quite a while, uh, but we have all of those videos here on Mobility Mastery, both on YouTube and the blog, mobilitymastery.com forward slash blog. So no matter where you're landing on this video from, you can use either the blog's search function uh, to search for different techniques that I'm about to describe to you. We will also share um, the specific ones I mentioned in um, the description below this video on YouTube and then inside the blog post on, on the blog. Uh, but here's a basic protocol that I would have you start with just to see if anything positive can come from this for your eyesight. So I would definitely start with opening your chest. So the chest is a, a major blood pathway that leads obviously both like to the abdomen and the organs um, and will allow for better brain uh, body um, connection, communication, brain and gut communication as well. Um, it also is gonna open up the pathways for blood flow both to the limbs, the arms, and then back. So venous flow coming back. Uh, and it's just gonna increase everything in a really positive way. So it's kind of like the roots and the foundation of what I want you to start with. If you are gung-ho, very committed, and you wanna go all the way, I'm gonna recommend that you actually do your entire arms. <laughs> but if you just wanna do the, the basic protocol here, it's gonna be chest, and then it's gonna be as much as you can do in your neck 
region. So the specific muscles uh, that I want you to search for either here on YouTube or the blog uh, by name, and then you're gonna do those fascia release exercises are gonna be uh, the SEMs. And I have a few different techniques for this, but the SEMs run from your ear down to your clavicle right here. Um, they're a big muscle involved in turning your head from side to side. Um, and that pathway of fascia and blood is definitely something you wanna open because it's not enough just to do the scalings. The scalings I figured out in my private practice were the thing that got the most comments from my clients saying, hey, I think my, like, is, is, is this weird? Like, my, I think I'm seeing better. Have, have any of your other clients felt this? And um, the very first time it happened, it surprised me a lot. And then I heard it from enough people after that that I was like, wow, I think there's like something to this. Um, so the scalings will definitely open a major blood and nerve communication pathway, but you wanna make sure that the rest of the pathway is open as well. It'd kind of be like opening up uh, a dam or a series of dams, right, um, on a river. If there are several dams, in order to really get that water flowing freely, uh, you would wanna open up all the dams, not just one of them. Um, so the same is true with blood flowing through your body. Now, here's my theory behind all of this. It's, you know, it's not just magic, fascia release, you know, causing uh, restored eyesight. What does everything in the body need to repair and heal itself? It needs primarily fresh blood. So blood has to be traveling through the body 24 seven every day of our lives in order to replenish cells. Um, it's, you know, that's what we build our bodies out of and we have to actually rebuild an entirely new body every what, seven years or so. Uh, so your body needs that blood to actually rebuild things like your eyes and your eyesight and nerves need blood to function optimally. So the ocular nerve really needs a good flow of fresh blood getting to it all the time to help the eye you know, function optimally. But then the eyeball itself has a ton of nerves and fascia in it. So all those nerves also need to be nourished. It's not just the ocular nerve, um, but we need everything flowing and working optimally, right? So in order to really test this theory for people who need it the most, right? Who, if that's you, maybe you're struggling with eyesight, uh, you, you want to do a complete solution. You don't just wanna throw a couple darts at it, see if it's gonna stick and be a quick fix for you and then you know rule it out as not working. You wanna actually commit to a series of things um, and consistent fascia release over time, period of maybe, I don't know, a month to six weeks before I'd give up of doing it really regularly. So you're going after those SEMs, like I just mentioned, the subclavius, um, stuff, which you're going to learn when you search um, for the SEM techniques. Uh, you want to get into the scalings most definitely, and you can get into them a couple different ways. Uh, and then you can use a lot of the techniques that I've put out for lymph drainage, actually, um, to get into the fascia in your neck and maybe even your face. So this is the last thing that I'm going to mention in kind of the protocol uh, is if you are toxic for any reason, if your brain is dumping toxins, one of the places it might drain it is actually into your eyes and into the lymph here. Um, and then you might feel uh, puffy behind your eyes. And it's not so much that your vision is going, it's that you're clogged um, and backed up with toxicity. So you wanna help your, your eyes drain toxins by uh, just draining right here. So I'm gonna actually show you that one now in this video because I don't have a separate video just for that related to eyesight, for example. Um, so you would just gently pull down from your eyes. And all we're doing is trying to encourage the lymph around your eyes to drain. And any, any toxicity in your eyes might be encouraged to then drain further if the lymph system around them is free and clear because the eyes are actually one place that we detox. It's a detox pathway. So you would wanna do that quite a bit, right? Gentle, but firm pressure 
Um, you don't want to dig in and be aggressive, but you don't want it to be so light it doesn't do anything. Um, you want to move it, so you should be noticing your face get redder, <laughs> um, maybe even noticing some coloration change if you do it in the mirror, like it's going to turn white and then instantly fill with blood. Uh, so that I would do consistently, especially if you notice while you're doing all this other fascia release in your upper body, your face starting to get a little puffy, uh, your eyes feeling a little puffy. If you notice inflammation here, it could actually be a detox reaction because uh, we, you know, the lymph system lives inside the superficial fascia. And um, once we start moving fascia, the body might be tempted to start draining more, right? Um, so if you notice that happening as a result of trying to use everything I'm talking about today just for your eyes, if you happen to notice getting more inflamed, um, maybe even just inflamed seemingly out of the blue, if this is not your norm, then I would look up my uh, lymph system and lymph drainage protocols to make sure that that uh, toxicity is actually moving out of your body for good instead of recirculating. Um, because that's going to involve a bit more of like the chest uh, lymph stuff, which is different than releasing the fascia in your chest and then the gut um, as well. So it, it could be a whole protocol that you do from the gut up to the eyes. Uh, but those are the main areas I would focus on for a basic protocol. Chest, just to reiterate here, you're going to go after your chest. Um, you're going to look up the techniques that we have for free um, for you on the blog and YouTube channel. You're going to go after your SCMs and your scalenes uh, and anything else in the neck using just your hands that I teach for um, lymph drainage or brain drain. Um, would be one thing that you could look up because that's going to get into some of the side stuff as well. And you could certainly uh, go seek help from somebody who does some kind of fascia massage um, or, you know, just a massage therapist in general. Somebody that does lymph drainage could help you potentially as well. Um, but it's really, really that scaling area that you want to get into the most and make sure you do it really well. This right here is your anterior scaling area where you can see a lot of, like I'm really tight here, um, and sometimes it affects my eyesight uh, in other ways. Uh, like they get a little blurry when I'm trail running because I'm looking down and then tightening it up even more. Uh, but there you go, that's my working theory. I believe it's entirely possible to heal eyesight through fascia release and increasing blood flow. You might wanna check out uh, healing eyesight naturally through changing your diet. If you really want a full protocol, that's not the purpose of this video to teach you diet or anything like that, but um, I'd love to hear of your results. So if you wouldn't mind sharing, if you try this at home, what happens and if you notice anything with your eyesight because the more you guys share, um, if you have a positive result and you share it, it'll encourage someone else to actually try this as well because this is definitely outside the box thinking. This goes against the common narrative that it's just aging and it just happens and you just have to go get contacts or glasses. I don't really believe that's true with anything. And I'm only gonna you know, resort to things like that if I've ruled out something I can do on my own to actually restore uh, more youthful vitality to my body so it can heal itself. Uh, so if you enjoyed this video, let me know by commenting below. Please share it with anyone you think could benefit because this is an unusual message, as I just mentioned, and I want everyone to know that it could help them uh, if they have eyesight issues. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time.